Hello and welcome. We are live. I am John from Gentleman of Whiskey, and tonight we are doing a... Okay, audio levels are good. You can't hear what... There's nothing happening. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I was just confirming some things with my wife. So, tonight on Gentleman of Whiskey, I know a lot of you are probably here. I can see some people already in the comments. A lot of names that I recognize from the PA Bourbon Squad. Happy to have you. Welcome to our lives. They're generally a lot of fun. We're going to do some raffle stuff tonight. We're going to do some blinds. It's going to be a fun time. Yes, we do a countdown ahead of time. It gives me some time to help and kind of promote stuff. Oh, Bourbon of the Week. Chris is in the house. Awesome, dude. Uh, I do not have a comments set up for this one, but it's going to be a fun time. So we are going to have on Chris and Sherry of the PA Bourbon Squad also of Bourbon Besties, their account on YouTube that's coming soon. It's going to be a super fun time. I can't wait for them to start posting videos. So the reason that we are all here tonight, right? So Sherry is doing an Alpha Bravo K9 raffle. So they have a giant raffle. There's been posts of it. If you're in the PA Bourbon Squad or in 717 Bourbon Society or any number of other groups, She's doing a raffle for benefit of Alpha Bravo Canine, which provides service animals to uh, disabled veterans of many sorts, PTSD. Um, they are a great, great charity, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So this is going to be a fun night of doing blinds, hanging out, talking to Chris and Sherry. And we're going to be giving away one of these in addition to some other bottles if we hit some stretch goals tonight. So we have stretch goals at 500, 750, 1,000, 1,500, and $2,000 raised. I don't know if we can get there, but I'm very confident that we can. So if you have not already bought tickets and you want to continue to buy tickets, there is a link in, or there are instructions in the description. Be sure to read the instructions very carefully because it is a little bit convoluted. There's a reason behind that. It has a very specific way that you need to send that memo line either on Venmo or PayPal because those tickets have to not only be entered for tonight's raffle, but you will get entered in the big 170 plus bottle raffle. And it's amazing. There's some great bottles in there. You can check the PA Bourbon Squad posts. Just search for Sherry Robcon and it'll be in there. So, we're getting started a little late, but let's bring in Chris and Sherry. How y'all doing tonight? Hello, hello. What's going on? We're a little behind here, but that's okay. She asked me to keep track of the comments, so that's what I'm trying to do. So Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got my laptop, I got my phone. There's so many, there's so oh, many yeah. electronics in front of us. Yep. We had a few issues getting on here with technology because technology is always stupid so that's just kind of how life is sometimes but here we are yeah we're good to go now good to go all right sherry uh we had kind of put in our itinerary here that you would have a little bit of time to talk about alpha bravo i see you're wearing an alpha bravo shirt super cool I I'd like to um, <laughs> take it away Okay, um, so if you haven't already heard from all of the things we posted, Alpha Bravo is an amazing charity, and what they do is they purchase and train service animals that then they donate at absolutely no cost to a veteran who is in need. Um, the veterans that they focus on are primarily those who suffer from um, PTSD, and then there is also another um uh, mental illness that can be solved um, similar to PTSD. So that's really their number one focus. Um, the charity began, um, Jen Green started the charity because her son had been in the military and she was a dog trainer and he came home and he was suffering from PTSD and she didn't know what to do to help him. Yeah. So she did the only thing she knew how to do and she trained him a dog and that led to her wanting to help more people. Um, for me personally, the reason that I'm so invested and so passionate in this um, is three years ago, someone who I was incredibly close to, who I loved very much, um, who was a veteran, um, he had been suffering for a long time. And um, it's no different than having cancer or having any other illness. If you don't seek help, you just get sicker and sicker. And that's sort of what happened to him. 
over the last year of his life, I sort of watched him get worse and worse and worse. And um, it affected not just him, but all the people that he touched. I call it the ripple effect. And so um, he took his own life. And that was wreckage for myself and for tons and tons of people that were part of his life. And for me, the healing journey started with, I have to make it make sense. It just didn't make sense to me why that would happen. And the only thing that I could do that made, made it made sense was how do I help someone else not feel what he felt? And how do I help someone else not ever feel what I felt? Um, so Jen was amazing when it first happened. I had reached out to Alpha Bravo and I had started a campaign and I was like, I want to be able to raise enough money to pay for one service animal. And I hope you'll name that animal after Scott. And Jen called me and she said, it doesn't matter how much you raise. We love that you're going to do that, but we're going to name a dog after him next month when we get the next round of dogs. And they did. And that dog has since been donated to a veteran who ironically was also in the Navy, which so was um, Scott. So for me, it has been a passion project and also a really, for me, a healing journey. And uh, this, yeah. this go round has been... <laughs> I'm just, I'm overwhelmed because my goal when we started this year was to raise $10,000 because that would have meant in the course of the last three years, some total, I would have raised enough to do what I wanted to initially do, which was pay for one dog. Yeah. And this year so far, we have raised those two, a little over, right? A little over $32,000 already, which is just it's amazing. So uh, my big goal now, which maybe is selfish, is I really want to get to 35 because that would yeah. mean that I would have raised enough for two dogs. Now, I know John's going to interrupt me and say something else, but my goal is 35. I will be over the moon at 35. I was crazy, crazy touched at 10. And then again, at 25, like it's just been it's been phenomenal to be part of such a great community. And yeah. it has made me feel very, you know, supported. And I just want to make sure that I say this. Thank you to every person who has donated bottles to all the businesses that have helped and to everyone who's buying the tickets. Just thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, so I'm not going to interrupt you. I mean, I do do that. It is part of having ADHD sometimes is that your brain needs to get it out before you lose it. But um, you have had a group chat with some of us. You know, Scott Reed, um, Matt O'Driscoll are both a part of this. And since pretty much day two or three, Scott has been going 50K or bust. So the fact that we've already crushed 25 is amazing. It's super cool. We're all very excited for the way that this is going. And we're all excited to be a part of it and to help out. So that's amazing. We're all glad to be here. So, yeah. She's, she's um, updating. She's, I'm inputting. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm just glad we're here. We're live and we're having fun. I'm going to get to a few comments because I know that there are people up in the comments hanging out. That didn't do the right thing. Okay. Comments live. All right. So. Brian's in the house. Brian Blocklinger. Hey, Brian. Rocky, Brian. I hope you are seeing things now. Rocky, tis blank. Hit refresh. Countdown begins. Awesome. Uh, Rick says Sherry was late again. It was actually not entirely Sherry's fault. It was partly I my am, fault. I am always late, though. He's right. I am always <laughs> late. All right. Uh, Chris from Bourbon of the Week is here. If that's my guys, son. That's your son. Fun that's fact, that's son. why we refer to Chris as Chris Big Stick is because Chris from Bourbon of the Week is Littlewood. So, fun times. PABS for the win tonight. Yes. Heck yeah, I love yes. it. Uh, Andrea posted what you need, specifically the wording, to be entered into both raffles. We are super glad for all of your donations and for all of the tickets purchased. We are trying to get to whatever we... Holy crap. All right. So before we get any further, I need to play are you the... It? Yeah, are you I to, I mean, <laughs> uh, like, it's underneath me, so it's distracting. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to play the 500 first. Yeah. Yeah, we've gotten to 500. That was our first stretch goal, which I'm pretty sure we got to before we even went live. 
And then yeah. we are now to 770, which breaks the 750. Very cool. Okay, so we have some stretch goal bottles that we're going to show off right now. I know everybody knows this is what our first and foremost bottle is. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the one that everybody wants to get. Uh, in no particular order, we're also giving away, since we've hit 500, we're giving away a barrel private select from Liquor World. It is eight years, nine months old. And 111.68 proof. So that's pretty cool. I'm not mad and about that. We are also giving away a Sam Houston American whiskey in the nice tube like E.H. Taylor has. It's a pretty Dude. cool one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about it. It's not one that you can get pretty frequently. I'm pretty sure this was donated by Dave Warmingham from 717 and PA Bourbon Squad because... I never got his list of bottles, and then I never added them to the one that Sherry has, so they're just going to be bonuses for tonight. So <laughs> It all worked out. It all worked out. <laughs> Chris from Bourbon of the Week says, Dad. <laughs> uh, Mike says, I guess Chris is Sherry, and Sherry is Chris. Yes, normally Sherry sits, sits on the left, and Chris sits on the right, so I set up your name tags underneath of you the other way. Yeah. Oh, that's I, fine. I, I, I had no, a tight. It, I, no, I totally get it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Blocklinger says, amazing. Thanks for supporting veterans. Happy to be a part of this. Andrea says, you guys rock. <laughs> Rick says, anything in a tube is fancy. <laughs> it's okay. true. It's very true. Okay. So, um, do we want to get to our blind? I love it. Okay. I don't know. So, I don't know if we have time for it. What? I got to open John's crazy packaging. Oh. No, no, no. Make Chris do it. You opened the last one. <laughs> this is child proof. It's like, it's like bomb. No, no, no. It's bomb proof. All right. Let's hope I don't cut myself here. Well, yeah. I'd really prefer it if this didn't end in the hospital stay. Oh it's a video taken down for violence. <laughs> Holy. I told you. What wait in till, the... Wait till you see the amount of shrink wrap he put on this. <laughs> I, you're going to have to hold it up so people can see the un Yeah, no, I, please do. Please I'll, do. Give, I, I'll give you one. Look, look, I wanted it to make it to you, all right? It was my entire trash can. You could have rolled these down the street from your house and they would have made it to you. Like, I know. <laughs> Lord, I shipped at USPS. You got to be careful. Um, here, you want? There's five of them in here. Sherry, I like that yours came in another smaller box. Yeah, box in a box. That's our shipping method. It's a good method. Okay. It's like a surprise. Box. See, the thing is, I don't have somebody to package Are them you for me. me? <laughs> Not only was there shrink wrap around it, it was shrink wrap to bubble wrap to more shrink wrap. Right. There's going to be more when you get past that bubble wrap. I'm going to start chewing. Wait, there's more. You. Look how quickly mine opens. Oh, hell right. no. 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 We're cheating. What do you mean you're cheating? Our knife. We got to change something. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't cut yourself. I'm worried about cutting everything else in this room. Like, jeez. Yeah. Are we sure we want to do these live tonight? I, that's what I said. I don't know if we have time to open John's packaging. Look, you'll be fine. You're already like three quarters of the way there. Tomorrow morning. I wanted everybody else to get the same sense of enjoyment that you do from opening this. So much. I, I'm sure people are laughing at us. I can't see the comments right now, so. Uh, Rocky Beaver says, big stick, don't cut yourself. Yeah, don't Steve cut Steve says, do it. <laughs> do what? I'm not sure. Whoa. 
Is he? Does he want me to cut myself? Damn, people don't like me already. I ain't even done nothing yet. Oh no, 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 no! People love you. Don't worry. Oh wait, I think I got it now. Hold on. You didn't even finish. What are you doing over there? I'm, I'm, I'm fundraising. You need Andrea to be. Andrea says you guys should race. Um, I do want to add one thing just so that there's no confusion. So because Chris and I do a lot of lives and we give bottles away out of the master raffle, I want to make yeah. sure that everybody who's watching knows that the poll tonight will only be for tickets sold tonight. So okay. if you're in the master raffle, those tickets don't carry over tonight. These bottles are specific to this live and gentlemen and whiskey. So Yay. make sure if you Venmo tonight, you put in the comment of the Venmo G and W raffle and your contact info. So John can get a hold of you and yeah. just make sure everybody knows that anything given away tonight, tickets must be bought tonight. Sorry. We did actually start. <clears throat> we started yesterday when we posted about the blind then. So that's why we're at 500 already. We have not hit 500 or 770 already. How many people are at the cat's meow? I don't know how many people are at the cat's meow. I know that uh, I know that Carolyn and Chris Goff were going to the cat's meow. I don't know mm. if other people were, but I would like to make sure that we thank Tyler and yeah. the whole team over at cat's meow. Um, super nice. And I know some people were coming tonight. So hopefully there's people there. If you guys are watching, Chris, Carolyn, let us know how many people are there. Yeah. Maybe you don't know the other people are squad people. We could like try to virtually introduce you to people. <laughs> Virtual matchmaking. I got through one. I, nice. I already beat you. I beat you. I had to, I had to fundraise in the middle of it. There's a bunch of saran wrap behind this one too. Oh, is that you're just tossing it? The maid will get that. Oh. She's so lazy. <laughs> God is enjoying this. You got to laugh but, out of faith with that one. <laughs> like come on john good god i hope other people can enjoy them what is happening because it's just wads and wads of shrink wrap oh. well so i know uh i know johnny dean has been oh. in in some of these lives and he has definitely gotten a package or two from oh. me where oh. it was very well oh you got a leaker I don't know if it's a leaker or what, but that one was. Well, that's number one. So that's the, the one that we're going to drink together first. as kind of our warm up. The, the, the clear, the clearish looking one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that does not look like something I drink. I bet you it's water. Well, is there going to be a I, scotch in these bottles? Because if there is, I'm going to be so mad. Well, get ready to get mad. Are you kidding me? You sent me a scotch. I sent you a scotch to start out with because, because it's aged in Buffalo Trace barrels and it's really, really fruity. So I figured if there's one, one scotch that you can try and enjoy, it might be this one. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Look at, look at that. I'm in the big time now. I got the Gentleman of Whiskey stickers. It's really exciting. Oh, yeah. I did add some stickers to that. It says, it, it, this is this is my guy right here. That's Big Stick Santa right there. Heck, yeah. That was our uh, our 12 Days mascot this year. Called him Santa Glenn. Right. We're getting there. Just bear with us. Okay, so maybe we should have started <laughs> with you doing it at a time. Told you when you you, you, were you like, did oh, tell me you absolutely one hundred percent did tell me. And I I asked her if I should open these before the live. She says no. John wants to see what it's like for us to open these blinds. So here we are. Well, and now so I will I will package them better next time. How about that? There's no better. better. This is a, what could be better than this. No no no. I don't I don't mean I don't mean better like worse. I mean better like. <laughs> Less secure. Yeah, less secure. I think uh, maybe Steve says there needs to be some of those pull tabs so I know where to cut. There was a pull tab. Did you have a pull tab? On the very end of each one, I left a tab where you no, can no. quickly unwind it. I mean, like on on a wax uh, bottle, like at the top where it's like this is where I take the knife. Gotcha. Just, Guess what? You're done. Guess what? You think you're gonna beat me? Uh! 
Alright, right, Steve yes! says, start the blind. Win. Mike says, finally made one. <laughs> Rick says, it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> oh my God. There's a mess back there. I, don't I know bet who, there is. I don't know who did that. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, Zach says, my cousin has a service dog, and it's amazing what it's been able to do since receiving the canine. Impact these dogs, yes, more than one will have is incredible. Heck yeah. We are trying to get multiple dogs. Let's go. Yes. Well, I'm not going to name names, but somebody did just buy $250 worth of tickets I'm about to input. Holy mackerel. Nice. I mean, I feel like you need to name names. Mike Sutton. Let's go, Mike. What a dude. Go, Mike Sutton. I we'll have that total updated as soon as Sherry's done unwrapping things. I'm done. I'm I'm inputting now. Oh wait, I need that box back. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, I'm assuming it's Lau. Says awesome. Glad to have you. Not a not a name I recognize. Let's see. Oh, Jeremy Lau just bought a ticket. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Like I'm literally writing that guy's name right now. That's wild. All right, so we got to play our drop for one thousand dollars raised. Let's go. Exercise for the day. All right, so, um, all right, we'll we'll go with this one. We'll go with the thousand dollar bottle added. Is this? Liquor World store pick of Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Oh, that's a good one. That's I know, one. right? Yeah, it's got a nice, really, really dark color, like maybe some of the samples that you got. Should I, should I push his button? Is that the Woodford? Button. Is that the Woodford Reserve Two XO? No, 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 no. It is Double Oaked. Two <laughs> XO is a brand. You you do you do know how to push my buttons. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, we're the worst. So, we're never getting invited back. <laughs> absolutely not true at all. As soon as you're done, we can pour this. We'll, we'll pour this sample. In one of these well, I had, to, I had some payments. I see that. What yeah. are you, checking paper? You're like, it's like you're a dealer over here or something. Yo, like, I got, I got, got, like I got two phones. phones. One for the bitches and one for the hoes. Bitches, one for the hoes. See? It, it just played automatically in your head, right? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Everywhere. Okay, let me get an ice cube. Yeah. All right. So Mike says thanks to Sherry, Chris, and John for doing this. Absolutely, it is Sherry's show. I think Chris and I are just here for the fun. Something like that. I'm I'm here to get punishments and get you know. Oh, you no. are gonna get punished for sure. You're definitely going to get punished, but Chris Chris is a very good partner. A lot of people would never have ponied up the way he did for something like this, and he was all in from day one. So Yeah. Well, the 35K is coming up pretty soon. I'm very lucky. And I, forget, I even forget what that one is. There's so many. Could you have filled this anymore? All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get to a few comments. Jeff says, what a great cause. Absolutely. Don't forget to buy your tickets if you need any info. It is in the description down below. Yes. There is a very specific wording so that you are in entered for both tonight's raffle and the big raffle of, what are we at, 180-some bottles now? Yes. Yeah, and nine lots of beer. So nine many beers. lots of beer, that's right. Yeah. No, oh, they're, all in my, they're all in my living room. Trust me, I understand. I feel like you're the one that knows best. It's true. Every single time I move them, they just clink. It's crazy. Uh, Dan says, hey, guys, what's up? What? Glad to have you here. Tom says, howdy, all, let's go. Let's go. Dan says, double, double oaked. I think we're in 375s. That is correct. There is not one of those in this raffle, but there is a Woodford four grain that's in here. And then Mike says, I think I just saw a little steam come out of John's ears. I'm assuming that's the 2XO comment. Speaking of 2XO, did you see their, their new one that's coming out? Yeah, Sneakerhead. No, the 2XO, what is it? The uh, What was it that I sent you? Kiwa. Kiwa. Fourth oh, I think icon. that one's out. Well, we haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen okay. it. If you see it, let me know so I can go okay. get it. And by let right. us know, he means buy it for us, wherever okay. you see yeah. it. No, I, 
I'm down. We're it. <laughs> yeah, wherever you find it, I don't care. Let me know. You know, I'll I'm check with it. I'll check with my guy in Maryland because that's the only way I'll see it. Pennsylvania doesn't yeah. get with the program with stuff. So this is crazy. She's got it's a, absolutely a, awesome. Oh, just just you're. We're about to blow your mind again. Are you ready? Are you watching? I'm. I'm very much watching. Like, okay. This is. Here we go. Ready. Let's go. Let's like, go. Yeah. Oh. Crazy. Yeah. Next stretch goal is at 1500. And then we have another one at 2000. And if we make more than 2000, look, I will, I will find some bottles. Um, I got bottles. We'll do, we'll do we samples and cigars. It'll be great. I have we a need. pretty, pretty stacked I got, humidor. I got some bottles too. Um, so that is another 250 from one person. So thank you so much, Chris Beaver. Nice. Yes. That's my cornhole partner. Yeah, man. Yeah, that that's it's gonna be big beaver stick. Team big, big beaver, beaver stick. stick. Yep. Oh god. All right. So are we gonna are we gonna drink this or nah? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. I think you might enjoy <laughs> <laughs> I really think you'll enjoy this, honestly. If it, it'll be close. I want you to go ahead, have a little it it smells like it's got like an apple cider smell to it. Yeah. Or an apple juice smell. Yeah, apple. I definitely agree with apple juice. Did Faith also have to drink it? That's why she's coughing. Um. Well, actually, yes. But. <laughs> yep. It all ties it out. I mean, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Does it taste like a band aid? Does it have band aidiness? No. Maybe, maybe a little on the finish. Maybe a very little, but it it is real fruit. He's right. It is fruity. Yeah, it's fruity it's, it's it's a fruity band aid. That's what I'm getting. It's not a. I don't think it tastes very band aidy. It's a little smoky. It's got a little bit of peat to it, but. <laughs> All right, Andrew, look, if you want to not- dump it, you can dump it. I don't care. I thought if we had. One chance of you enjoying scotch. This was it. <laughs> All right, just pour it. I don't care. God, it's so rough. You don't think this tastes like Band-Aids? No, I don't. Oh, I get like a smoky Band-Aid. I don't get any sweetness at all. No, I, I did get the fruit in it. Like, it's not... You can drink it. It's right there for you. And it's not for me. It's all for you. It's real tannic. I don't like the dry finish. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to be like... John did that just so that y'all could watch me make those faces. I, I, I went into this with the best of intentions, I promise you. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, John. Like, it's not like like Sherry over here, you know. It, it's just not... For, the, 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 flavor, the flavor wasn't bad. It's that tannic finish that I'm not... Yeah. It, so. it does have a little bit of like a, like a Chardonnay astringency. Yeah. I get that. Awesome. That's something else I hate. Let's talk about the for two. You want to talk about the All specific? right. No. So let's just move on to number one then. Number one. That was number one. Oh, you're, sorry. Yours number two. My number okay. one. Okay. Do My, you get this one. Yes. So Andrea wants to know, can we share what we're drinking? Ooh, Andrea, okay. we, will, we will when we're done. Um, this is a blind. This is how we do things here, not over at the, the lives in the squad. I used to do them that way. Haven't done one in a while because we're concentrating on the raffle. But we will. John has a list that he sent to us. We had the list that we sent to him, and you know, we'll we'll let him know when when we're done drinking all of these bottles. I'm so sorry. I got lost. I got to make sure I'm keeping up. I'm so sorry. Okay, Mike sent. I got. I got okay. Chris so Bourbon of the Week says 23 watching and five likes. Click that like button, everybody, so we can get this shared. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Chris. John is afraid to ask people. It also it really helps on all the other videos if you comment. If you watch the other videos or any YouTubers for that matter, including Bourbon of the Week or Gentleman and Whiskey, the comments really help them as a creator. I did not know that. I do not think of it as a social platform. Yeah. I never comment. I like a lot, but I never comment. So there's a hot tip. For how to be a good viewer. And for us when we start ours. 
eventually there sometime, we go. sometime in the next five years in may also a quick shout out if you guys are not following bourbon of the week please do so chris yes. has fantastic content he's an awesome dude we Jesus. do collaboration sometimes where he makes me try whiskey and guess what it is and i fail miserably so who does number two work for? Mostly the toilet, I think. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Now I want soft serve ice cream. No, Do I'm ours kidding. have numbers? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm number sorry. two, right here. Number two. All right. Proof, proofs one fifteen. Okay. Oh, you put the proofs. Yes, I didn't did. put. I, I put did. No, I. Yeah. You'll also I notice did. that it goes from one fifteen to one fourteen. That is because I think the profiles lend themselves to a different order okay i mean i am liking this last one though i mean that now, now I you're liking my... it purely by color alone 136.8 yeah yeah, I'm yeah right? that one. all right do you want to try this one yeah faith pour, try it pour what you have in that glen Peer pressure. So someone just bought tickets and their area code is 802. Where is 802? That's a really good question. I actually don't know. Is that, is that Virginia? Is that a Virginia area code? Do I look like the op, the phone operator? No, you don't. Okay. I, just, I wasn't really asking you. If only Google existed. <laughs> it's not like I have 15 electronics in front of me. I could have done that. I just thought maybe the person that did it might want to answer. 802 is the state of Vermont. Oh, Vermont. Whoa. Look at wow. you. Wow, look at us. Wow. Hey, Vermont. Damn, look at you, John. Stretching to Vermont. That's Stretching New Hampshire. Much more look, handsome. it could very easily be one of your people, too. We've all done a a crazy job of promoting this, so it's going to be fun. All right, what are, you, uh, what are you finding on your first real blind? Oh, my God. Peace. Oh. Oh, that one's good. Oh. So I did put two. So you got four in total while well, five with the scotch, but we all warmed up with the scotch. That's the only thing we're all going to drink together tonight. I know. But I gave two out of the four that I think Sherry will like. I gave two out of the four that I think Chris will like, and I'm not telling you which or which. Or at least not till the end. Sweet. It's got a little bit of a burn. I really like that one. You don't like it? Really? No. Nah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Like, mm. And then there were dogs. Yeah, our, our and dogs. There were dogs. Yeah, they're... I don't know. Mine is asleep down next to me. My 18-year-old just got home from work, so the dogs are real excited to see her. Understand that. Oh All right, so weird. we are drinking different things. What yes. I have in front of me, Sherry and Chris sent to me. So initially, it smells grainy, and it's got a little bit of a sewage note. Sewage. Oh <laughs> and wait, then sorry. bubble gum. I got that out of the toilet. Sorry. I'm so, I'm you so sorry. You weren't supposed to get that one. Sewage <laughs> bubble gum. That's what we're going with. Sewage yeah. bubble gum. Okay. I All said right. a little bit. Like, it's got a little bit of, like, a methane smell to it. Oh, so a little it's, bit it's, ass. It's number two bubblegum. You're right. Uh -huh. <laughs> smells like it maybe could be weeded. Or at least, like, really young corn. Sometimes I get those mixed what up. What a weird thing to be able to identify. Yeah. I can't I can't figure out the nose on this, but this thing is this is awesome. Like whatever this is, this is really good. Hmm. It's got a good amount of heat to it. I would have never guessed it was 115. Hmm. I mean I would it, nah, maybe, maybe. I'd say I would have said between 115 and 120. Yeah. It does drink pretty softly. It's I mean it's uh I mean I, I really like that one. I really like that one. Would you like to know the proof on yours? Or would you like to guess, John, before I tell you? I haven't tried it yet. It's great. Okay. It's great brandy. Oh, you're just smelling of the sewage bubblegum. 
Like yeah. soaking, soaking that in. I'm going to guess it's between 95 and 100. It is 100. Hmm. So, so high end of that. So what was it? 100. Oh, okay. it was 100. I didn't hear you. Sorry. No, All right, comments. Okay. Is it not going to the comments tab? What the heck? Somebody said buddy, buddy gum. Ew. Chris has the butt shirt on from the sewage note. Look at that. <laughs> yes, he does. All right. I don't know what's happening with my stream deck. You can't read the comments? I can't. Yeah. Well, I can. Oh, okay. My, my stream deck's stalled. It's being dumb. Oh. It, I can do everything elsewhere. But it's just, it's not buttons that I can immediately press. Okay. I don't know why that's doing that. How's your total ticker doing? Um, It's over 1,500, which means that <laughs> I know. we can this hit is... our 1,500 drop. Just FYI, I don't think I added you guys to the sources on the on the drops. So if you say stuff while that happens, I think it cuts you off. Okay. My bad. Big beard, oh, Matt O'Driscoll. The kid just yeah. asked if that was the shirt he saw at your house yeah. last time. Yes. Sure is. In my defense, this shirt was John's idea. Yeah, he yeah, was. He said, yeah, so, was. So, we'll show that it is definitely butts. Yep, they're butts. It is butts. They are butt. Can you go back? <laughs> we'll pour it out. Mm -hmm. All right, so, comments. Uh, Dan St. Hilaire, I'm assuming it's Hilaire. I probably butchered your name. Says Vermont. So did Rick, so I'm not sure which one of them is Vermont, but it, it is Dan. Okay, all right, cool. Jeff okay. apparently invited him. It's his buddy in New York. John Heiser hey, is here. Hi. Awesome. Hey, John. <laughs> Chris, or Mike Sutton says, Chris has the butt shirt for John on the sewage note. Rick says, go. buttle gum. I like that. <laughs> the kid just asked if I if it was the shirt saw at the house. He already said that one. That's fine. Congratulations. Awesome. Super cool. Very cool. All right. This is crazy. Kind of wild. All right. We got a subscriber. Looks like Tim Kaida subscribed. That's awesome. Oh, nice. Good to you. Getting subscribers. Yeah. Like and subscribe. That is not the point of this, but I will take well, whatever I can't. I get. What a nice right. guy John is. Let's do this on his channel. Look, it, it is it is all for the goal, and I mean, you asked me to help out, so this is my way that I can help out, in addition to picking up bottles. So. You really do. Super appreciate it. All right, so this on the palate is much better. It's not, there's no sewage. It's not butt water. Okay. No, no, <laughs> no butt smells. Great. Would that be enema? Ew. <laughs> Whiskey enema? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a thing you butt need chug. to try there, Chris. But, oh, a butt chug? God. <laughs> this is all. This is going way downhill fast. Instead of big stick, it's big suck. Oh. Mm. Ooh. No. Ooh. Ooh. No, thank you. I I still can't get over this one. This one's really good. I'm glad you like it. I still have three more. I'm going to be like, I might be drunk before the end of this. I love that for you. <laughs> I, I was waiting for that comment. I was <laughs> I was waiting for you to say your catchphrase. It is kind of my catchphrase. But I do mean mm. it when I say it. Right, but it just it's so it's like when a southern lady says bless your heart. Like yes. there's that connotation of like I don't agree with you, but I'm 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 happy for you. No, I don't feel that way at all. I really mean it. I do okay. genuinely all right, love all right. it. I'm from the South. If I wanted to take, you know, very polite digs, I would do it a very different way. Aren't you special? I <laughs> you are something else. <laughs> Wait. Fair enough. I, 
I thought you were being nice when you said that stuff to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have never met somebody like you. These are all things other people say that sound like compliments, but they are not. <laughs> they are definitely not. They are not. All right. So do we move on to the next one? What are we doing? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have poured the whole thing in. That way you could have gone back without it getting watered down. I'm sorry. That yeah. was bad that was bad planning on my part. All right. So no, what I, do you what do you guys think of that? I mean, Sherry yeah. obviously not a big fan. Chris is a fan. I yes, love it. I'm a big fan. That gets that gets four sticks out of five. All right. Is that your is that gonna be your bourbon besties unit of measurement? Sticks. Yeah. yeah sticks. That's that's nice. what I've done the entire lives, so you know. I gotta keep something to myself, you know. Yeah. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Am I gonna regret regret? I've saying never that? met a bourbon like you before. <laughs> Am I gonna regret that? <laughs> is he gonna tell me what it is? I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I love that one. Oh. That happened to me before here. Probably. It did happen to me once. Okay, before. so do you want to you okay, want so for I, the next one? Yeah. I'm trying to keep her on track here, John. It's just not working. That's you great. didn't get. I mean, we got some time. I, it was four. I also thought it was four. In the meantime, <laughs> do we have a? Do we have any idea how many tickets we have sold so far, Faith? Do you want me to auto sum them real fast? No, she can get to the bottom of it. Two twenty-three from tonight's entries, and then you got uh, five from Dan, four from five from Dan. So two. Mm, four, Did you bit. take the Dan ones out? I moved mm -hmm. them so I could do the math better. Mm -hmm. the yeah, all that, that just happened. Oh, can you put them back in? John, we didn't we didn't it's reveal not anything. Paste that whole cell into the raffle wheel. Ooh. Okay. I saw this one before. Smelled this one before. I, I, I've smelled this one before. Okay, he so do we want to do reveals at the end, or do we want to do reveals now? I, I think this is pretty good. I mean, this is... I'll probably give it like a six, six and a half. Like, it, it tastes a little young. It's I hope it... a little weird on the nose, but it's okay. Like, I, at the right price, I would buy one of these. I have no idea what the price is. Okay. I'm going to let you know that. I would, that I would right. probably not pay more than 50 for this. Let me put it that way. Especially not. I don't remember. I literally don't remember how it was. That one? Is, is Gary Poltano is in the chat? He'll know how much it costs. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I have no idea. I'm like, if Gary's here, he knows. I have no idea. Okay. All right. Did, did you share with Gary what you sent to me? No, but I know he has that bottle. Okay. That's the first one, I'm right? Gonna, I Wait, I've got myself confused. That's only the first one? God. Yeah. No, that was the second one. No, that was... you. Ha no. You guys are on number two. Oh. Because I sent you one that we all will drink together, okay, and then so I'm on number one. one, about to be on number two. So okay. I'm sorry. Now I gotta now I gotta reprocess my brain. Okay. Yeah. The first bottle that I sent you is the one that's 100 proof that smelled like sewage. That's a six and a half. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm keeping track. I said light sewage, like a little bit of like methane kind of thing. Or it just it reminded me of sewage. Okay, I, I'm gonna. I will happily tell you what this bottle is, and I don't remember how much it costs either because I'm Which terrible one? at that game. Which one? That was, uh, if I remember, that was like fifty bucks. Was it? I, I think more, so. I don't know. When I, I tell you, maybe you'll know. I feel like you know a lot of stuff, John. You might not. You might just know. Do you want to know what it is now? Sure. Okay, the first one that I sent you is the Yellowstone Toasted. That just uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yep. Um, I had a, I have a video of that shot with Brad from the Seven Sun Bourbon Society of four toasteds, and that's one of them. Yeah, I think it's like, I think I bought one for him for like fifty three. So it is a little bit on the younger side. I, I I'm not ever blown away by Yellowstone stuff. I like that one. I like the toasted. Yeah, I liked it. I, I don't even know if I'm. Going All right, to so your that. first one. Mm -hmm. was the Taconic Maple Finished. Which you must have thought I was going to like. I may have thought that, yes. 
So wild. You win some, you what, lose some. A wild, what a wild <laughs> ride we're on. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, John. So that was the Taconic Maple finished. It is a pick from Sobel's Markets in Whiteford, Maryland. Super cool place. Uh, the manager, oh, Nick, is a great guy. So. <laughs> Mike Sutton, good sewage, not the bad kind. All right, all right. He's not wrong. Hey, Frank. Oh. I like the way this smells. I've had that one before. I know I have. I just can't figure out which one it is. But I do not like it. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so I like the color of mine. It's nice and very dark. You know what that means, right? Oh, this has a little spice on it. It smells on. real weird. Ooh, man. It's 2XO'd. It's, it's two <laughs> That's 2XO'd. No, I, actually, I don't even know. Did you say it smells real weird? It smells like pine tall. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you pour that out of that bottle? You might not want to drink that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this one hurts me a little bit. Not going to lie. Well, it's we're not all... Everybody's... No, it is not too late to donate to the raffle. For sure, definitely not too late. I'm it is reading. not too late. We're going to cut um, about 10 o'clock. We're going to cut any more entries to the raffle. So up until then, awesome. We have... Did we hit 15? We hit 1,500. Yes, did we I, did. You put the little graphic did up. I, did I put a... Did I put a bottle that we're adding no, to that? We glossed okay, over right. that. Well, this is the bottle that we're adding. It is a Larceny Barrel Proof. It is C922, comes in at 126.6 proof. So now we are up to five bottles. So you have roughly a one in 20 chance of winning. I did that math real quick in the back of my head. So... Yeah, we have like 220 some entries right. divided by five. Yeah. So you are right. One in four. We're over making. Whatever. All right. We're doing great. So we are I'm we're not, doing yeah. fantastic. We are doing fantastic. Yes, we are. Look at us go. This is wild. <laughs> it, I don't the know. The what nose on this is getting better, but it definitely it smells real young. There's no Young age and statement. Grainy. I can't confirm or deny that. No age statement. Is that the... It smells like it could be Texas whiskey. I don't think it was. No. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't hate this second one. I, I, don't I don't like that one at all. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if someone poured it for me. I don't know if I would mm. buy it. I don't hate it. I mean, it's not like the first one where it's like, I don't want to drink it at all. Oh, hell, I'd take the first one. You can have well, that you can drink one. that one. This one's not bad, though. I don't hate this. I mean, I, if somebody poured this for me, I was like, just like having a drink with somebody and they poured it. I'd be like, mm, this is nice. It's light. I've had that one before, though. I, I know I have. I just can't figure out what it is. It's light. I feel like it has a little weird spice on the finish that I can't identify because I'm not good at that. Later, John will tell me what it is and I'll be like, okay. I believe right. it. Mike says yeah. John likes sewage over pine salt, obviously. He's not <laughs> wrong. Not a bad choice. So, a story from my life. I uh, I did camp when I was, like, middle school, high school, and I would go away for a week. And band camp? One year. What? Like, band camp? No, like, so I grew up religious, so, like, Christian camp. All right. Ooh, so, vacation like, Bible I grew basically, up in that. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was like basically vacation but camp. school. Right. So it was like an overnight camp. And we all were obviously assigned tasks to help clean up in the camp. And it was my first time ever using pine saw. And I did not know that you don't just pour it straight, that you need to dilute it in water. So I mopped this floor with straight pine saw and I went to clean it up. And the whole bathroom just sudsed up like crazy. And <laughs> it took probably... I would guess hundreds of gallons of water to clean out this bathroom. So. Well, they, they should have given you some more training. Yeah, it's fine. 
All right, you know, I could have read the label. It's fine. Matt says, based on color, I think I know what John has. Mike Sutton says, a 1 in 44 chance. Frank says, Venmo sent. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Mike also says, Garrison is my guess. That would have been what I was guessing with Texas. I've, I've had. We had Garrison so, the last time. That is the wildest thing ever. That it, So, the mods from the PA Bourbon Squad, we all have uh, a blind every month for the year 2024. We all have okay. the same thing that we drink once a month together. And mm -hmm. the that's what you're drinking. You're drinking our March pour. So everybody who's okay. watching now, what that one is, that's our March mm. pour. Matt O'Driscoll also guessed Garrison Brothers when he drank it. Mm. Okay. It does have Garrison-y notes. Like, this is similar to the Balmoria that you did, that you sent me the last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, the, the Balmoria had, like, similar, like, grainy notes. I'm going to actually try it, because I will sit here and nose whiskey forever. I'm I'm still digging this first one. I love that for you. Yeah, that second one. That's all you. Yeah, I don't. I've I had it, it before. It's really floral. I do really I'm like floral, a... like that Rio. I really like that Rio. Everybody else hated Maybe it, that's, and I really that's like not it. what that is, is it? I don't think so. Because I've had that before, and <laughs> I don't. Yeah. But I did remember. I really did like it. Yeah, and I didn't because I don't like flowers. All right. You might be on the right track. But you don't have the correct train. Okay. Choo choo. Well, that makes <laughs> that that makes sense because I am a Penelope fan girl, so mm. it would make sense that that is one of my favorites. I mean, it's not Basil Hayden because, and it makes sense because like Chris something. doesn't usually like it, so yeah, it's all tying out. It's not Basil Hayden because it tastes mm. like something. Well, I mean, it's also not eighty proof, so it's not. This You're is welcome. True. Thank you for that. Hmm. I, I'm telling you, we have this bottle here. Whatever this is, we have this bottle here. I mean, we got a lot of Penelope. I think you do. Really? Because I have quite a really? few. All right. Well, I'm excited. Okay. I'm very excited. Have you been in my house before? Are you stalking us? I mean, I was invited there, so I came there. <laughs> and you took you you took inventory of all of these bottles. Look, I was threatened if I didn't come there. Yeah. It was time. I was told that our friendship would be strained if it would, I didn't and it come would have been. It was time. Wow. Uh, look, I just tell it like it is. So, what do you think <laughs> that guy is? Um, I'm gonna say between one ten and one twenty would be my guess. So now I'm gonna tell you that I think that Chris Littlewood guessed very similarly. And the only kind thing he could say about it was that it drinks under proof because it is 125. Mm, okay. I agree with Chris on this one. It's, <laughs> it's weird. Like it's got like a, it's got kind of like a Christmas in a glass, but not like, like Christmas spices. Like I'm drinking a Christmas tree. Okay. Tiny. Yeah. So Matt, Matt really likes it. Okay. Like really, really liked it. I didn't. Which and it's that, weird. So that when kind of makes sense. Because you don't have the same palate as Matt. Yeah, Matt and I seem to have very different palates. So we usually are very similar, okay. Matt and I. And I love Garrison Brothers, and he likes Garrison Brothers. And when he said mm. that, I even went back and drank it again to double check. And there's yeah. just something about it that just doesn't hit for me. Mm. The way that I want it to, which pisses me off because it's weeded, it's double oaked, it's 125. Everything about it says, Yeah, I should okay. like it. That's what I said too when I drank it. I'm like, How do I not like this bottle? It's everything that I like. I was real mad that I didn't love it. Mm. It's not bad. It's not like I didn't like it. It's not like it's awful. It's just wasn't my favorite. So, what is it? It is Ragged Branch. Mm, okay. Um, Double oaked weeded. Okay. I actually almost bought one of those on seal box. I'm now glad that I didn't. Yeah. So it's kind of a bummer. How old is it? No age statement. I don't know. So, uh, does it say straight on the bottle? It does. It's, so this one is a store pick. Okay. And it does say straight. 
Okay, so it is at least four years, because if it is not age stated and it says straight, it must be at least four years. So it is. So, uh, right. you guys are drinking an Oak and Eden. Okay. It is a wheat and spire, so it is an in bottle finished with an Amburana spiral. That's the one you brought for the bottle share, isn't it? I did, yes. I told you I had that one before. You did tell me. Look at me. Look at you. With the butt Look shirt on. That, that is Smack the day. The butt. Good job. Good game. I couldn't drink because I was sick, yeah. so I didn't get to drink anything. And I did like this. Okay. Look at us go. Yeah. We're, uh, we're doing things. We're doing great. the thing. I'm over here smacking butts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Let's get to some comments. Yes, let's see what Matt said, see, Sherry. <laughs> That's funny. I know. <laughs> Sutton, he's got that billboard money. <laughs> uh, I would love to see that billboard. What billboard? Tim Kaida, very... Burnt marshmallow on that raggedy branch. Yeah, all right. I can see burnt marshmallow. I uh, I still I think like it has. It I still think it has some. Just like piney, young, notes to it. I don't know. So like a new bottle of pine salt. Sure. Like a like a barrel aged pine salt. <laughs> barrel aged pine salt. We're not doing a good job of selling this bourbon. It's really not bad. Matt O'Driscoll loved it. How many times are you going to check that when it hasn't gone off? I don't know. A couple. Just checking. Just making sure I'm keeping track. Look, we're doing great here. We've we're got, doing we've got 1560. It's yes. it's fantastic. I mean, absolutely, definitely add. Please buy more raffle tickets. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, this is going to get us close to 35, which should we tell them what that – some of these people don't know – what that puts it because this this enters them into the big raffle too, right? It does enter them into the big raffle. So we have a bottle that will hit at thirty five thousand. We do in the big raffle. Yes, and it is. Oh, it's not up there. Do I have to get up and get it? It's not. Well, I mean, I posted it all over the page. If you're but in the... th th these people are John's people. They're not our people. Oh, I, think I would say probably 75% of the people that I see. I think I want to tell those but I feel like we would just say what we did. Okay. People. So, so when we hit 35K for the big raffle, the bottle yep. that will enter will be Old Fitz 8. Nice. That's a good one. Old Fitz 8. It's pretty good. So, geez, you're sitting in my lap. I was going to. Okay. I don't think we can put that on YouTube, though, but hey. Okay, wrong platform to get me demonetized. Wrong platform for that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So, do we want to pour this one? Okay. All right. So I'm fifty fifty so far. One of you has liked each one, so I'm back. And are they the ones you thought would? Did you think I would like the last one? All right. So, so both of these I thought Sherry might like. Okay. So you're you're. Like, so I'm 50-50 okay. on you. Yeah. You're like, you're like okay. that in 500. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 That's, that's pretty good. So the next two yeah. coming, I put in for Chris specifically. So that means you think I'm not going to like them? Mm. I mean, I'm a that's, you're not, not. that's not necessarily what I'm saying here, but. Now I'm going to like it just to spite you. <laughs> I mean, go for it. <laughs> Oh, I can't. My face. I'll make a face, and you'll know immediately what I think. I can control my words. I cannot control my face. Fair enough. So John John Heiser uh, asks: So if I buy more tickets now, does it get me in the bottles going out tonight? Yes, it enters you in both raffles. So it not only gets you a shot at the now five that we have for this evening. One coming in three hundred and ninety dollars raised, and then. For the hundred and what are we at? Eighty three? Hundred and eighty three? You're gonna wanna watch the numbers. Oh my god, John. So you're I'm gonna, gonna say something. Watch the number. Yeah, you're gonna wanna watch this. I cannot wait. Let's go. Let's go. So we're 140 away 
and we have another 56 minutes until our that's awesome i mean this is thank you so much so that i, I would like to talk about this individual for a second so uh brian blocklinger last year um was a big donor um he bought a lot of tickets in the like final hour so last year i went to bed um and chris wrote a post basically about how much it meant to me and mm -hmm. we wanted to get to seven thousand. he was trying to basically overnight get the number up to seven thousand dollars um and it had been an exhausting day um we had actually been at the dog walk and we were going to pull on sunday and so chris wrote this post and when i woke up um we had not only gotten to the seven thousand but we were at like nine overnight um which wow. was insane and brian was definitely one of the later contributors and a big contributor and then i have to tell you that last year he won a couple of bottles um in the raffle and when chris and i drove out to meet him to deliver the bottles he met us and he handed over to us double the amount he won um, and he's like, use these for next year. So Brian is a phenomenal supporter. And, that's you know, awesome. that's one of the awesome things like we do. I mean, we literally started getting bottles last year as we were delivering mm -hmm. winter bottles. We were collecting bottles yeah. for the for this year's raffle, which is kind of how we got to like 180. Also, I mean, that we had some, I think we were up to like 30 or so, 40 maybe. And then there was a big push and, you know, between the squad guys and the 717 guys. And we did, you know, a little competition which just in case you don't know, hashtag team Philly. It was them shirtless snow angels. Number did one. But did you shirtless. do 10 times what Lancaster did? We did not do 10 times what Lancaster did. We're not doing it per capita. We're just saying donations. <laughs> also, to be fair, to be fair, I did miss five. <laughs> so that, those are our, those are our stretch goals for tonight are the ones that uh, Dave Warmingham donated and i never put onto sherry's list so <laughs> mm -hmm. it happens that is true you might want to keep an eye on your laptop it's at 52 percent. okay so you yeah, we're over halfway so i have so, the glass so we need it's fine glass. i can plug it in we need another glass yes i'll get one okay so so john thinks i'm going to like this one this was uh that is what he said is this 125 8 or 128 8 128 8 okay all right. I like the okay. color of this one. Oh, I really like the color so of this So the one. first two that I sent you, I wasn't sure. Oh. I was like, you might like it. You're going to like this one. You might not. I'm this not going to say you're definitely going to like the last two, but if I had had to bet on the ones you would like, okay. yeah, yeah. it would have been these two. Right. That's, I mean, that's how I went with mine is the, that the ones that I thought you and Chris would both like are the ones that I put forth. So I did, I was, I was, I thought I wasn't a hundred percent on these. That's a lot. The second one, I had no idea, but we had just done it and it was so much fun. And the feedback was so across the board. Like we were all over the map. It was like, people really, really liked it. People were like, it was mm -hmm. fine. People were like I would buy the bottle. I wouldn't buy the bottle. It wasn't like, you know, it was very polarized. So I, that one I sent, cause I was just genuinely interested to throw you in the mix yeah. with all of us. Cause I had recent feedback on it. Uh, the last two, though, I feel like you're gonna like. Mm. It already and smells like something Buffalo Trace, so I'm in. Hey. Loads of grape jam, some like vanilla oh, notes. It's at grape brandy again. <laughs> Not grape brandy, grape jam. <laughs> Not For those who don't know, I did uh, give. <laughs> Grape or E and J's grape brandy as a tasting note for Van Winkle Family Reserve Lot B and one of our previous blinds. Is this the third one we've done or the second? That's your third. No, blind. No, no, no. Uh, no, like how many times have we have we collabed on this? Is this the third, maybe? Third? I, I think, don't remember. I think it is the Definitely third, yeah. Second. I think it's the second blind. Yeah, okay. But I think we did one before. Maybe it wasn't blinds. I mean, I could look it up, but I don't feel like it. It can be whatever you want it to be. Mm. Chris, how you doing over there? Oh. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, I don't get to have any. I'm mm -hmm. just going to drink it all. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we sent each other the same thing? I'm getting really doubt it. I'm getting yes, like same. a. I also doubt I'm it. actually getting like a, almost a s'mores out of that. Yeah. Talk in my language, but I feel like it's not going to taste like. I'm that telling thing. you, I got the graham cracker, the marshmallow. I'm missing the chocolate, but I, I'm going to say that that's double oat. Because that is, I mean, that's it's oh. I am terrible at identifying these things. I need to know who else. Who else is bad at knowing these things? Like, are you listening to this? Like, how does he know it's double oaked? How, what, how does I it taste just, like that? I, I, I can, like, literally, I have no idea. That's got that rich oak flavor. It's got it. <laughs> I wish I could screenshot John's face that's frozen. On ours. I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Wait. Oh, um, wait. Do it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I can't wait till later when you see that. Yeah, it froze. I don't it's know only why. frozen <laughs> on the laptop. It's totally fine on the phone. Yeah, that's weird. Mm. But it is awesome. I'm going to send it to Faith so she can frame it. Fair enough. Uh, Chris, this isn't double oaked. No? Hmm. No. You know what that tastes like? Them jelly beans you like. The marshmallow jelly beans. That's Butter that popcorn? Is. No. The oh marshmallow. Oh my goodness, we're at 1910? We're Let's at 1910. We're Let's at $90 go. away from our final stretch goal. And look. This is this is super cool. I, I'm I'm all about what's happening here, and it's it's great. No, you're fine. Well, it sucks that <laughs> like John's just like <laughs> you look great. I mean, it's a great it's it a is. it's a it great is. image. You're real happy. I don't know why he's stuck like that. I don't either. But we're I'm just gonna keep taking pictures of him. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I got plenty of time. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that's weird. Like, it's just frozen. It's awesome. No, you know what's awesome? Coming in hot. Uh-oh. Coming in hot. Ooh. Did I hit the last one? Oh, no. I sent Faith this goofy picture of you. Sorry. Oh, well. Sorry. Way to get Didn't mean to this. <laughs> All right, what do y'all think? I really like it. I really like it. I'm telling you, it's got that toasted marshmallow, like almost a s'mores. Now I'm getting char on the back end. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like it. I like it. It's not sewage water or pine salt. <laughs> or, or buttle gum. Oh um, my gosh! I like bottle gum. That was that was my favorite comment so far. Wait, what? What's that crossed out on his screen? Could I, that be? No. Because ours isn't. I the, I can't control that. Oh. I just show up. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're just looking at you doing this, John. <laughs> like, yeah, you just. I sent it to Faith. That does kind of suck, but I almost don't want to mess with it. No, no, it's great. We're having fun. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we're enjoying it. It's, it's a great, great photo. We're having fun. <laughs> it is. Uh... Mike wants me to raffle off family fans. No, I'm not raffling off a of subscription of my own. Oh. No, no, uh -oh. no. Old Forester, uh -oh. sir. Oh, uh oh. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Tom Miller's with you. He says, yep, I agree, Sherry. Sometimes hard to tell. So. You are not alone. <laughs> I really like this one. Good. I, I agree. I, I like the one that you guys sent me. Yes, I told you. Very good. That's a good one. <laughs> I I picked that. Yes, you did. I picked that. I mean, not to send to you. Chris picked to buy it. Mm, okay. It's like grape jelly and marshmallow fluff. <laughs> so it's a fluff and mushroom. <laughs> Almost. That's okay. Awesome. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> did you see what you look like? Yeah, I did. Yeah. It could it's be just worse. Like that. It's all the time. That's all yeah, you are on my laptop. Dumb. That's weird. I don't understand. Uh, technology. I'm really enjoying it, though. <laughs> 
if it makes you feel better when I send it to Faith, she said, I can't hear you guys, but he's what a cutie. <laughs> I mean, I'm digging it. I might make that my screensaver on my phone. You won't. Hello. 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 What did you think of that one? Oh, it was fine. I mean, I probably, I could, same, I could drink it. Wait, what? I could drink it. Um, okay. Uh, okay. I don't so, want to mess Faith what up. What are you doing? I'm adding somebody in. Oh, okay. They're like an add-on, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. But I think I don't want to mess Faith up so she does the ticket, so I'm going to put it down here and add four. What are you doing? I'm pasting this. Mm. Nope. I'm, I'm doing a lot of nothing. You're confusing. Uh, my buddy Cohen says hit that goal. Matt says must be, oh, hold on. I missed it. Ah, it moved. There you go. It deleted. Actually, Matt, it's not our Wi-Fi because on the YouTube stream that I'm watching on my phone, he's not frozen. And we're it's, not frozen. It's this app that we're using to yeah. stream together. He's frozen. Do what, Chris? What does he want me to? What does Mike Sutton want me to do? I don't know. Give you an OnlyFans link, maybe. Oh, he wants my OnlyFans. Oh Lord, I, I guess. All right, so Matt's comment is back. It says, "Must be the Yardley service." John hasn't frozen on my end. Well, that's good. Glad to hear that. Well, it's Dan brings up an interesting point. If Jesus was that? around today, it would be water to bourbon. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, I'm there's with a, it. There's a pretty big interlap on the or yeah overlap in the venn diagram of people who go to church and people who like bourbon hmm. bourbon is from the bible belt so you know all right so chris yeah you do like that i do would it hurt you to know that it's a rye <laughs> what the <laughs> Quit. <laughs> Quit. Done. Quit. Don't give me that look. You're so... Wow. That's shocking. That's a shocking announcement. Wow. And you can thank Brian Eineker for that. Thanks, because Brian. Brian and I were doing a video of <laughs> of this bottle versus Old Overholt tenure and in the video if you go back and watch it it says i think chris big stick would like this oh snap it's and a finished right. item, isn't it it is not finished it is not a finished rye look at it all my is, shots it is parker's heritage 10 year rye well that's of course he likes that <laughs> that's like that's like not liking Pappy. No, I'm just kidding. Look, so I, mean, I'm, I, I really have to drag you through through the glass here real quick because there's a bunch of comments about you liking a rye, and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Matt says, praise Jesus. Mike says, got that, Chris. John says, he uh, John Heiser thinks it's Jack Daniel's rye, which is fantastic. It is a good bottle. It's not this one. Matt says bye to the rye. Chris Beaver LOLs at you. Love that. Oh, Jesus. Wayne says, did he just like a rye? <laughs> he did. Mike, game changer. I and mean, then Rick says, good. Parker's, I was just typing it, my favorite rye. Absolutely agree. It's a fantastic rye. Look, so to be fair to you, it is a 51% rye. So it is kind of cheating. It is... It is a low percentage rye, and it doesn't have a lot of whole tra uh, traditional rye notes. So I'm bailing you out a little bit there. Okay. Son of a bitch. But you just got parent trapped by Brian Eineker. <laughs> Brian Eichner really coming for you. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. It's true. No, I mean, I like looking at your beautiful face, but I really need to see your reaction. And I'm This sucks. <laughs> okay. Like, I don't know. Like... It's weird because at the top of your split screen, yeah, 
there's an icon that has an eye with a cross through it. Oh. Ours doesn't. That's weird. Yeah. And we can't do anything with it, so. Yeah. I don't know what I can do from this end. If you, if I look like I'm going in a place I shouldn't be, I'm really just dodging down to see Chris's phone. Hold on. What? You want to see his face? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on. It You're will frozen. be a little delayed. Wait. That's okay. There we go. Ready? Send it. Goodness. Woo! We did it. And you were worried about this, I might add. Wait, wait. It's not even... Wow. It is way behind. I want to see his face. Yeah, okay. All right, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to hit the, the 2,000. Yeah. Love it. I, I love, love it. it. Wow. Like, um, wait. Where does that put us at at the big in the big uh that's a good question like, okay that's got to put us damn close Hold on. stand by oh Wait. look paul tonowitz is here is that he somebody here earlier, else i think oh that's the one i just put in oh. was, that? Yeah. was he not gary gary yeah. paul tonowitz yeah. he was here brian says that is a good rye i agree gary is here fantastic he, he had me nervous earlier because he had put a, a comment on the, the thread before we even went live. And I was like not at all sure what it meant. And I was like panicking that I'd done something wrong on the setup end. So, yeah. Give me a little, little heart attack. Okay. Dan St. Hilaire says, congrats. Awesome. Thank you for being a part of this. Like this is. Blocklinger, damn good job on the fundraising. Absolutely. Thank you for being a part I of it. I um, I'm like, and like I said, literally, I asked John, what, two hours ago? Do you really think we're going to hit that? Yeah. John's uh, like, I'm going to do these stretch goals. And I was like, I literally, I even said to Matt O'Driscoll, I was like, this is what John <laughs> thinks. Like, he's wild, but it's his show and I'm here for it. Look, I'm just channeling my inner Scott, who is the inner wizard. Scott Reed. Right? He's Scott the Reed is the wizard. He's double who has he, is. he said 50k from the beginning and i think the consensus was i mean i'm i'm the labrador retriever here i'm the like yes let's go with that let's do everything and he was he's he's been right so far on almost everything so we've got we've got what 20 22 days yet yeah, something like that yeah 420 yeah 420, yeah, 420 yeah. yeah. Let's go. Oh Holy crap. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Jesus. I, so the big raffle, I'm going to double check my numbers. I'm oh. rinsing this glass out so we can reuse this. One. I'm going to double, I'm going to double check my number. Bunch of congratulations. Wayne says way to go. Rick asks, how close does that put us to 35 K? Hey, Cohen I have Pepper that answer. Slow clap for legends. Let's go. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, no, but yes. Okay. The question was, how close does it put us to 35 K? And yeah. right now we are sitting at 34, 150. So 800, Let's go. 850. Away. Unbelievable. Like, look, we've got, we've got another 35 minutes here, people. Like we, right. we absolutely want to give away bottles. And just so I have not forgotten about the stretch goal, we've got an Elijah Craig barrel proof as one of our stretch goals. This is B522. It is 121 proof. So 60.5. And it's a good bottle. And I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. If we can get to 2,500 on this one, I will donate a C923 that I have sitting in my bunker. Whoa. Oh, my God. I have a C923 that I have hitting that I have sitting. And if we can get another 460 bucks, I will toss that in for tonight's raffle. Aye, aye, Let's aye. go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, Matt is asking. So I don't think we really touched on this. Sherry, is this with the cat's meows match? It is not. 
Let's go. I know, right? <laughs> yes, not. So I wow. When I did my total, I did not add it in. So let's add it in. So when we add let's that, add it in at the end. Well, I'm going to add it into the total for the raffle. Okay, yeah, but right. like my think... like my big number. Jesus. Gotcha. So in the big number, that would then put us at. 34 650 and we would only be nice. three let's away. go we would be 350 away from 35 and what is that punishment that i have to take at 35 i don't even know so so if we get to 2500 here we will also be over 35,000. yeah we will yeah let's go let's Andrew go says, fine take my money venmoing to add on let's go yeah. thank mm. you andrea not and she is not andrea she is Andrea. Well, that's good because I've been pronouncing it Andrea this whole time. And we have respect. How are you saying it? You're special. Andrea. <laughs> yes, I am. How are you saying it? Andrea. How's the right way to say it? Andrea. All of a sudden, she was saying correctly. It's not Andrea. Oh, she's saying yes, it wrong. correct. Okay, sorry, I can't. No, no, she's not saying it wrong. She's correcting that it, I've been saying it right this whole time. So that's good. I was saying it because we were on a live once and we weren't sure how to say it. And I asked her how to say it because. And I said it was Andrea. And Chris was saying it, Andrea. And real, I mean, he, may, <laughs> he may have been drinking, but. No, um, not us. Maybe a little. We're definitely not drinking at all. No. Should we drink the last one? I think we should. Absolutely, I need please do. Try. Oh, wait. Do you... What are you. Can you leave it alone for a second? It's not on there, Chris. Oh, yes, it is. It's not up there. I would right. Have, it's yeah. that one. Yeah. So at thirty five thousand, with all these punishments that I'm taking, oh. thirty five thousand is I have to get a pedicure and paint my toenails pink. <laughs> Look, it's for a good cause. Sparkly pink, not just pink. Oh Jesus! I'm assuming. I'm assuming that Gary is asking about the one that you have in your hand. He says that's got to be the cowboy bourbon, that color. Oh. What? Like this one? 140 proof. Yeah. 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 Oh. Andrea, bunch of smiley faces, crying faces. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm taking the faceplate off my dryer to look for any spare coins for the C923 and for hitting 35K. Hell yeah. Wait. And then Wayne says 35k pretty in pink, Chris. Chris, big okay. pink. I'm glad that you translated that for me because I was not going to put that up because I had no idea what he was saying. <laughs> I, I'm going to be Chris, big pink. Oh, look, John's back. Oh, look, you're back. You're moving again. Let's go. <laughs> I love that. I don't All know right. what happened. Okay. We're going to pour this last right. one. So Gary's saying no, the one that I have. It is Ooh. very dark. Also, the one that you have is very dark. Oh, yes, it is. Wow. Like, that's got like a reddish tint to it. It does kind of look red. Yeah, it does. I know I'm red. I don't know that Gary's wrong. I mean, that one is, I mean, that's dark. Yeah. Yeah, it is. If I had to bet one of these makes it into Chris's top five. It would be this one. Oh, we didn't tell him what that last one was. Oh, I didn't. So, oh, no, John, no. we yeah. didn't do the last one. Did you tell us the last one? Yeah, it was a yeah, ride. it was Parker's. Parker's. Sorry. So, the third one that I sent you is... Get ready for it. Uh, it's Milliman Green. And it is their single barrel... And we bought it at the distillery, and it's the White Buck release. Yes. And it okay. is 131 proof. It's pretty darn good. It gives it me was... um, it gives me William LaRue Weller vibes. It, it, we really liked it when we were at the distillery. Mm -hmm. They have a great – it's really pretty. That No tour, just you go and drink, and they have cocktails. They have, like, a bar, and you just go and drink, and you can buy things. But it's a really pretty place. You can sit outside. We had a nice time. Yeah. Oh no, you can only just go and drink. That's the worst. Yeah, you can only, all you can do there is drink. Yeah. That's really oh, all no. they have. You get potato chips if you want. Yeah, they have chips. All right. Yeah. So, like, if you're drunk, like, I saw a guy that was drunk and they were like, hey, 
why not have some free potato chips? We're not going to charge you. And I was like, that's very nice of you for that guy that's drunk. Like, that's really nice of you. He seemed like he needed Chris is stumbling around. (laughs) That guy may or may not be me. Oh, man. (laughs) I mean, that... We we did what was it? It was five or six pours we did. Yeah, I remember and then a lot. and then we had two cocktails. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. You know, it was decent. It was after that barbecue place. I don't know this. This one kind of scares me. I'm not getting a whole lot of oak on the nose though, so. <laughs> really? Did you just choke? A little bit, yeah. You choke on that one? This is You're a right? spicy. It's a little spicy. You gonna make it? Hot. It's a little I mean, spicy. I'm fine. I'm, I'm living. Do you need some free potato chips? Uh, you know what? We're getting pretty close, Chris. <laughs> Do you need some water? He's some... drinking some. Do you Party think you should put? It. Do you think you should put some ice in it? A couple drops of water? Calm oh, down. Okay. I'll use one... the 140 proof. Hmm. That one's oaky. It's got a little tingle. I definitely would not put it at 136 proof, though. Tingle's a good way to put it. It's... Yeah, it's not. Did you see how you just drank that? That bougie ass pinky out. Mm-mm. I didn't notice. Well, that's funny because she always calls me bougie. I, I never called you that. That is such a lie. You absolutely have. I have definitely called you fancy, but 100% they are not. Hundred percent called me bougie. I might have once called you a bourbon snob. It bougie happened. I believe you. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like something I would say. This was definitely <laughs> oaky. <laughs> Chris, staying yeah. on the whiskey. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to keep so y'all focused. on the on the right train. You know, choo choo. You know, we derailed uh, like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. We derailed. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't hate it. I'm getting a sweet. It definitely makes my mouth tingly. Yes. Definitely oaky. It's definitely oaky. It's like the best mouthwash you ever had. <laughs> like, like, you know how mouthwash makes your mouth like tingly, but it tastes better than mouthwash. Mm. Okay. It's like but a, you don't swallow Do you know what mouthwash. I mean? No, I understand. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, so you want explained me to, it. Yes, I understand. <laughs> so you want me to rinse my mouth out with this and then go to work? We don't have to rinse your You know what's going to happen, right? Well, well, you probably, Let me like go home. You're drunk. I'd be like, just give me some free potato chips. I'll be okay. I mean, I don't dislike this. No, it's... I feel like I could drink this. I, yeah, I think mm. so, too. I would drink this. I like it better than that first one. <laughs> You're definitely getting... It's earthy. I like its tingles. Yeah. It's earthy. Yeah, I'm into that. Um, There's a... Some kind of sweet note. I don't know. I'm getting sweet on the on the back end. Mm-hmm. It's like a sweet and oak, like I don't know, char maybe. It's it's real complex. Chris saying he doesn't just in case it's right. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like I'm not, Could like, you imagine if John sent you back to back rise? Like <laughs> you know what? You, Uh, Wayne says, John, I'm having pores too. I'm assuming that's a, about the the pretty in pink. I mean, I'm going to go out on says, the That's got to be Garrison Brothers. Which one? Brett's in the house. Let's go. Matt says he also thinks it's Garrison Brothers. I, I, what, I'm your with or you. I got it. Yes. Uh, Gary says, John, do you have this year's Russell's Reserve single Rick House? Dude, so good. <laughs> got to be honest. I have had single Rick House once, and I did not love it. I'm weird about turkey, especially like the higher end turkey stuff. 
So you want to hear something super weird? I love yeah. wild turkey. I'm a big fan. Many, mm-hmm. many things I love. Not one single Russell's that I've had have I liked. Not one. Really? Not even like any of the batches of 13? Not one that I've had. Wow. Now, I only okay. had one of the 13. Last year's 13 I had. Okay. It was so last I, year's 13. Yeah, so I actually just did one on a short that was batch five that I got from, I think it was Mr. Drops himself. I think that's who traded it to me. And I didn't love it. And I don't know that I've liked any past three. So that's weird. At some point, I do have a batch two that you should try because I think it's very good. All right. It's different than the rest of them. It's it's much more like cherry and vanilla. It's almost like a like a cherry cola kind of thing going on. That's really for like my that. profile. Yeah. So super cool. Um, what do you guys think of your pour? I think it's the best mouthwash ever. I don't <laughs> don't hate it, and this is going to be like saved forever in the annals yeah. of the internet. But I'm going to say that that rye was a better pour than this. I am shocked. I, Frankly, I am shocked. It this this I am isn't, too. And can I tell you why? Can I finish my thought? <laughs> No, go ahead. I'm kidding. Go ahead. I think it's stag. You think it's stag? I don't know. I do. No, there's no way. I think it's stag. No. I agree with Sherry. The first time I tried this, I thought it it tasted tasted very stag-esque. It did not taste like mouthwash. But I'm also not trying it with ice, and I would assume that that changes it a little bit. So... I get staggy vibes. I mean, I, I get agree. a little bit of that, but it's all right. You like the rye better? I love that. Something for you. I don't know. There's something there that's it. It's not that I don't like it. I just think the the rye was smoother. Everybody loves smooth whiskey. I, mean, I would especially drink especially John. I would drink both of these without an issue. So Actually, I would drink three out of the five that he sent. I know. I know you would. All right. So, how about you, buddy? What do you think? That was good. It's it's a little grainy and it's a little spicy, but it's got <laughs> some some really good flavors to it. It's got like a really like brown sugar, vanilla, baking spices, kind of like a graham like cracker a pie. Yeah, yeah, like a pie kind of note to it. I I definitely think that it is the cowboy bourbon. Because it does have Texas type vibes to it. Yep, you are correct, sir. Well, yeah, I mean, it was Gary that said it first, so you know. Gary's cheating. Yeah, because Gary's cheating. Fair. All right, so somebody in the comments nailed your pour. Okay. It is. Let me get that up. Brian Blocklinger, my guess is the 13th Colony Double Oaked. Oh, wow. wow. Hmm. So, I had I had a 13th Colony. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I didn't have the Double Oaked. Did not. Hard to find. Uh, yeah, I got very lucky that it was on Bourbon Outfitters. And I, I, I almost stopped for a second at the price tag because it was $200, which is a lot of money. But I have enjoyed every single pour of it that I've had so far. So I love that for you. <laughs> hey, you didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. No, I thought it was a delicious mouthwash. Very tingly. Could it be an enema? Like I want, like I want to swish it around my mouth. Could it be an enema though? Get it on my gums. Feels like it would feel good. I mean, Chris, anything can be an enema. Yeah, I guess it could be. Bet you that would burn though. Probably, yeah. Uh, Johnny's stopping by, stopping in to say hello and enjoy. Let's go. Gary's Let's apparently going to get me a sample of this year's single Rick House, and I never say no to samples, so. Let's go. Do we have any updates? Like, have we have we updated yeah, at we all? Got the number sits at 
2070. So you haven't nice. gotten anything? No. <clears throat> All right, so we're in the push. Yes. We will cut off in 19 minutes, and then we will spin the wheel. Oh, my gosh. 19 minutes for $430. Right. And then I will add a C923. That's wild. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I do love that C923. Hey, my mom. My mom's on. Hey, mom. Yeah. Yeah. My mom's on. We bring everybody, John. We yeah. bring all the people. Oh, <laughs> uh, Debbie Connolly. Yes. Let's go. Block I think that says. Go ahead. What? You said. I think that. I think that's my mom. <laughs> no, it really I hope is. so. It is. John hooked me up with a sample of that. Huh? I did do that. I believe that you did. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jay Vest, guy I used to work with. It ain't oh, chicken. Nice. Back to my old Chris from Pennsville comedy uh, videos. Wow. 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 That's awesome. All right. All right. Uh, Brian says their 15th anniversary is great, too. 139, but does not drink hot at all. Well, I am... Glad that you got one. I did not get to. I was severely trying on Bourbon Outfitters, and it did not go through. So, 13th uh -oh. regular, brought to the bottle share. Mike said, it's a unicorn. It is. The 13th colony, double oaked, is very hard to get. Tim Kaida, thanks for the pass. Great bottle there. Cheers. Enjoy that live on Whiskey Bible. Jason says, hey, Chris. Let's go. Yeah, that's 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 my buddy from my old job before I left. So, Jay Jay's good people. Thanks Rick for tuning S. in. Jay. Appreciate it. If you're from Pennsville, not anymore. Not anymore. Now he's real bougie. Yeah. <laughs> Living yeah, in I'm Yardley. Bougie. I'm in Yardley. Yeah. Teabag and Company here, formerly. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so that ragged branch, uh, when Lori Dixon drank it, she said it was like sucking on tea bags. Okay. So then we sort of called her tea bag. Nice. You gotta be careful what you do around us as a group. You just you get a you get a nickname real fast yeah. and they stick. Yep. <laughs> Dan St. Hilaire says, can y'all say hi to my wife, Michelle? It will help me with my bourbon budget. Absolutely, man. Hope you yeah. get to buy more bourbon bottles. Hello, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Michelle, sign that permission slip. Yeah. Yes, please. It's okay. Promise. If we promise, it's okay. Catch bourbon me out with Tyler. Yeah, I know, right? Let's go. <laughs> Tyler is good people, man. He is. Tyler is. I, I haven't dealt with him, um, but from what Sherry tells me, He's he's a good guy, so he has been very kind and very generous. Yeah, so I don't know that we actually touched on. I know we we talked about it briefly, but uh, so Tyler decided that he would match donations for up to five hundred dollars. Five hundred, yeah, right. that's, that's awesome. right. So that's super cool. It's very and like it. It is amazing how people band around this. So Tyler also donated some gift cards to the Cats mm. Meow. Um, so we will do a separate live video. And I think that um, for getting the correct audience, we're actually going to do that one in the 717 group. Um, okay. They seem to be the closest. So Chris and I are going to yeah. do a live there and we're going to just off of the big bourbon raffle group, mm -hmm. uh, raffle off those gift cards. That's cool. That's awesome. Oh, good. I'm so glad some squad members came. I was just reading Tyler's comment. I'm so glad. Yeah. I know uh, Chris Goff and his wife Carolyn were coming. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who else was going to come, but I'm really glad people came. That's awesome. Uh, uh, yes. Chris Joyce. Chris it's Joyce, not too late. still going. Chris, not too late uh, to buy tickets. No. Oh, Matt says check your Zell. Oh, snap. 
He loves. No, not Snap. Your Zell. I know you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to Venmo me. I wish Matt would snap he me. He has Venmo. I wish, Gary says I wish... Zell is for old people. Matt, those are fighting words. Wow. We have... says the bald dude with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I literally don't care how anyone pays. Did it come through? Well, I know you were live now. I just heard you say Pennsville. <laughs> yeah, awesome. right. So I lived in, I moved from Baltimore to Pennsville for about 10 years. So I lived in Pennsville for 10 years. All right. I got to be honest. I don't know where Pennsville is. Please tell me. It's South Jersey. If you get any further south, mm. you're in Delaware. Literally okay. at the beach of the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Gotcha. Or New All Jersey right. South, of course. Yeah. Zell is the last resort. <laughs> Mike oh, says wow. everybody smash that like button, but more importantly, smash that Venmo button. Yes. We're getting so close. We are getting close. It says F Venmo. <laughs> oh. Matt, how are you taking those cornhole tickets? How are people signing up? They're paying you through Venmo, right? Ooh. Also, if you're, you're definitely, we got some Venmos. Of Ve Not Venmos. <laughs> You want to say it? You say it. Cornhole. We have a cornhole tournament. Okay. At the Alpha Bravo Canine Strolling for Service Dogs. All right. Um, Matt O'Driscoll is putting that up. Um, so you will contact Matt for, for that. Uh, there were 20 spots. I don't know how many are left, but it doesn't matter because everybody's going to lose to me and Chris Stop Beaver. Stop saying that. So They're going to lose. I know, but we need people to sign up. Stop telling them. They're going to lose. They're not going to lose. It's they can just good. give me their money and walk away. Like, that's fine. They can sign up for it. They can't beat me. I'm Chris Big Bags. It would be so fun <laughs> to beat him. I actually want to sign up now just so I can beat him. You can't even throw It's the... true. I actually can't even hit the board. I couldn't beat anyone. <laughs> I'll be at the event, but I suck at cornhole. So I also suck at cornhole. Terrible at it. But it is super fun, and it's not really expensive, and there's a pretty nice prize if you win. Mm. It's 150 bucks. If you yeah, take first like, place. I bad. think it's 100 bucks for first. For first. Yeah, so... Uh, wait, what's this? Me... Tyler said... Nice. Met Chris and Caroline. We hit Stag, yeah. Redbreast 27, and Old Fitz 8-year. It's pretty awesome. Wow. What? I, that yeah. Redbreast 27 is something I need to get my hands on. Yeah. We're going to go see Tyler now. Just so we can drink that. What is Chris and I mean, Sherry connection to Alpha Canines? I mean, look, you could just come and oh. hang out with us, too. That's like yeah. 20 minutes from me. Just saying. Um, so Cohen asked about our connection to Alpha Bravo. So if you weren't here at sure the beginning, did. I'm I'm gonna answer that really fast. So yeah, um uh I started fundraising for Alpha Bravo three years ago um because a veteran that I knew took their own life and it became sort of a passion project for me to make sense of it and to heal and to help people who were feeling what he felt and for people not to feel what I felt. And then when Chris and I got together, he was full board on with whatever kind of sparked my joy. So my joy is his joy and his joy is my joy and my joy is helping people. And holy hell, we are going to help some people because we are so effing close oh, yeah. to two dogs. Like we That's could be at two dogs tonight for me personally, which would be stupid. Like I might cry. Yeah. Let's go. Sorry, we have, to, we have to plug the laptop in. It's dying. Fair enough. We're is plugged in are you sure yeah why is it not charging though uh -oh. um all right i'm just gonna Whoa. get this head on Bourbon Bill gotcha. asked, where is our boy brandon tonight um if you guys missed the the january video where i had a channel update uh brandon is no longer with gentleman of whiskey for his choice so that is it is tough but we're going on so yeah <laughs> Matt says, trust me, you can beat Chris at Cornhole. What is going on over there? Are you falling? Matt, I'm so Matt couldn't sorry. beat me. So Matt was here at Big Six Birthday Bash Part One, and he couldn't beat me. So yeah, just say invite. It's memorial. <laughs> yeah. The, no, no, the, no, no, no. I'm just 
the second yes. annual Big Sticks birthday bash is Memorial Day. He weekend. knows. He didn't come. It was one of the many events I gave him shit for not coming. To. Oh. He knows. Wow. I was not invited. Thank you. I'm going to go back <laughs> next stream and I'm going to send you where that cannot be true. All right. We can play that game because I will find when you called me bougie. You know what? <laughs> Only I'm going to tell you that I didn't just invite you. I invited 14,000 people because I put a public post up in the group. Yeah, that it was that's free. not an invite. That's like. That's, a, that, that's an invite. A Facebook event is not an invite. I feel like it is. John, I'm inviting you. Fair enough. I'll be there. But you have It'll to bring faith. Oh, I do like her. She's you have to cute. bring faith. Man, everybody. Well, of course. We're a package deal. Okay. Uh, Gary, a lot of people are ragging on your, your cornhole skills, man. Uh, Gary says Chris is actually terrible on cornhole. And Chris Joy says no one's scared of you, bro. Well, first of all, Gary needs to stick to pool. He looks like a cue ball. Um, Chris oh! Joyce... <laughs> Chris Joyce knows nothing about my cornhole game. Ask, never mind. Oh, my oh I could say I'm gonna just ask somebody about terrible. My, nope. My all uh, right. What's my the, talents at hitting the hole. What's the number? How close are we? <laughs> we got <laughs> minutes question. left. Yeah. Let's so we have hit. eight minutes left. If we hit once again for those who are just joining us or missed it somehow, if we hit twenty five hundred. I will add my Elijah Craig barrel proof C923. We are three hundred and ten dollars away. Not no more for what his do you mean? for his number more. What do you mean? No, that's what right. You... Unless you can see the number on the screen. The number's on the screen. Twenty one ninety. Yes. Yeah. What did you say? Three hundred ten dollars away. Okay. Uh, Chris Beaver's got your back. Don't worry. Chris said, that's See? okay. He'll have me as a partner. See? Ooh. Matt said, Gary hasn't signed up for Cornhole just yet. Just saying. Gee. Yeah. Well, he does have a little tiny baby. I mean, like, we got to cut G some slack. He's a little baby. He is or he has? No, he has. He is, too. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I over here stirring the pot. That's my, like, preferred thing to do. Fun. No, I love I love Gary. Same. Gary, Gary's Gary's good people. Same. Having met him now, I can agree. All right, so we got six minutes. Oh, six, <laughs> six minutes, minutes till we start to draw. Hours. Can we do this? I, I think we can. Six minutes for three hundred ten dollars. I mean, we've gotten two fifty in a shot several times tonight, so. Seems like some scheming going on over there. No, it's not scheming. Check this out. Matt says 22 days to find. Let's go. All but 60 bucks. 60 bucks. $60. Come on. We that's $60 away. That is three tickets. We just need three people to buy one ticket each. Or one Four. person to buy five. Five and one person oh. to buy one. Yeah. Or somebody just to buy 50 and just get it over with. That's true. <laughs> or even 100. Or what yeah. is it, 15 tickets for 100 bucks? Or for a, for funsy, 250. Yeah. Also a fun number. Yeah, that's why I just said. <laughs> the, the guys in the Gentleman of Whiskey Discord were making fun of me earlier because they're like, yeah, so one ticket for $10 doesn't make sense. <laughs> Yeah. When it's you one for fifty you're... five for fifty. Yeah, I made that mistake earlier today. It, it, it's a thing it's that okay. happened. Matt, I just go holy crap. Holy crap, Matt. Come on, guys. Five minutes for sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. We got this. Come on. Let's fucking go. Like, like I can only imagine Wizard seeing this and going, What the hell? He's did like they wizarding do? and he's not even yeah, here. He's playing Harry Potter. <laughs> oh like, man, Scott's a good dude. He is a good guy. We've had a lot of really a lot of great we've we have I mean we've met a lot of really great people and we've had a lot of great support. 
yeah. yeah this is this is amazing this is insane actually like can we do this man we can do this look let let's do this like i almost want to be like for ten dollars a week you can feed a starving kid in Zimbabwe. <laughs> you can donate 60 bucks like and that's feeding a six kids in zimbabwe i don't know like something i always say if you saw somebody who was in their fatigues in the airport mm -hmm. would you buy them a drink yeah because everybody knows the airport drinks are expensive so that's 20 bucks it's true right so would you would you buy them a drink do i need to put the beaver costume on oh my god it's done please do wait what what please do no 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on whoa no. let's go no 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 no, no 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 yes We did it. He said, where is it? He said, where is it? Well, so there's like a million bottles behind me. Like a hundred something. We but did it. This is what we're adding. This is an Elijah Craig barrel proof. C923, 133 proof. It is an A22. If anyone cares about that, the date code. I don't really think there's anything different about them, but whatever. So this is what I have personally added. We are up to seven prizes. Let's go. We're still going. We're still going. Yeah, we're still going. Update it. So I think oh. that I think that we had two that came in like almost at the same time to get the number. So thank you so much, Rocky and Brian, because I think it was like literally exact same moment. Um, wow! Wow! Kind of both hit at the same time. So wow! You amazing. guys have already killed it because I only had drop <laughs> logos up to two thousand. So this is awesome. Like, thank you guys so much for donating and this is going to such a great cause like i have goosebumps right now i don't know I, about y'all i'm trying not to cry right now like i'm being so, dead honest with you like this is this is amazing that extra matt just said push till 10 30 jesus <laughs> christ um yeah we have two minutes we have a minute this is i mean this is amazing so with Tyler's match, that sets us dead on at 35,000. That's amazing. Jesus. Once again, huh. shout out to Tyler for doing this. This is awesome. Like, I don't even have words. I'm also a little tipsy, but I, I still also don't have words. <laughs> Blocking you says, stay strong, Chris. What's awesome. that? Uh, Blocklinger says, stay strong, Chris. It's, I mean, just, I I don't know. Like, it's just, it's crazy to, to see, like, this is, man. Yeah. I, I, I have no words. Like you said, I have no words. I just don't. Look, and nobody, nobody is more deserving of this than Sherry. And you're good people. And this is a great thing. Um, I, yeah. I'm tearing up a little bit, honestly. Like, this is so cool. Oh, man. In a million years, I would have never expected this today. And I don't know what else to say except for thank you all so much. And yeah. I, I've i said it a couple of times, but, like, this is going to change someone's life. Like, this, yeah. like, literally what we as a group have done, we are, we are going to change someone's life. And every person who has contributed to that should honestly just, when you go to bed tonight, you should just feel like you deserve the biggest hug and pat on the back and whatever you're into to celebrate how fucking awesome you are because mm. we are, we are going to change someone's life Yeah, and it's amazing. And there aren't enough words for me to express all the gratitude that I have. And yeah. what is it going to change someone's life? I think everyone should know this has changed my life. And I am a better person for having been through everything I went through and for every person that I have been able to interact with because of it. And I'm just so, so grateful. And thank you so much. 
little comic relief, uh, Wayne says, someone is getting pink sparkly toes. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, we need that. <laughs> we need to laugh. And just remember, we have 22 days now for another $15,000. Yeah. Look, we, we can do anything, right? <laughs> we've we've crushed every goal so far, and you guys in PA Bourbon Squad and 717 and people watching here on GNW have helped so much, and we're so thankful for everything that you've done. And it is 10.01, which means that Let's it is time know. to give some stuff away. Hell yeah, let's do it. Too? All right, let me get the wheel out. of names up, and let me go to... Wheel of names. Let me go get... Oh, can I add one more name? Yeah, absolutely. Just... Do whatever you need to do. Did he just buy more? Oh, so it's not that he, not that he's, Jesus, wait, what? No, hold on. Oh my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Oh God. We got, we got behind in I'm that. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, we got behind in that uh, I was monologue <laughs> and like people hit us right before 10 o'clock. Like. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, look, we're not going to, we're not going to be sticklers. It'll be however it is. Like Jesus. John, we're, wow. we're, Jim, we're $2,600 dude. Like that's amazing. And, so crazy. And I'm like, like, I'm like, I, like I, I keep saying, I even asked you, I was like, do you really think we're even going to hit that much? And okay. we blew it out of the water again. Like, no, 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 so no. Great. no. The people watching us blew it out of the water. Like, for real. Thank you yeah. all like for Y'all are amazing. Literally amazing. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. So as soon as my wife gives me the okay that I can pull this list, I will pull that over into the Wheel of Names. Okay. And we'll do a giveaway, and it'll be amazing because everything tonight has been awesome. It has been. Except for that scotch. It was awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look. All right. So you've you've left comments on some of our videos where you are scotch curious. And I, I went out on a limb and it broke underneath me. All right. So. Scotch curious? Oh, my God. I almost died when you said that. Oh, oh. God. Oh. Scotch curious. Look, no, you asked. I'll bring up. The, I'll not. bring up the comment. You, you've I'm asked not, about. I'm not Scotch curious. I don't like it. I will find it. I'm inquisitive as a human. I'm not Scotch curious though. If there was ever going to be one, I was ever going to like it was that tail of cake. If there was ever one I was going to like, it was that one. And I didn't like it. And everyone says it's sweet, which is what I love. And I didn't like it. And I meant to send it. The, I went to send it home with you and I forgot. And it's still taking up shelf space I don't have. I'm looking. For the comment where I said I wanted to taste the scotch? Yes. That, that does not exist. So while you're doing that, and we're talking about goals, at 35000 yes, I am getting the pink sparkly toes. Somebody's getting a pie. Wait, who's getting a pie? I'm looking it up right now. 35 should be, is it Chick? And I'm looking or is it, it Jack? Can no, it's, could be Jack and, and who is it? Who is it? I, I'm looking. Just a okay, I have found it. Shut up. At no Bourbon Besties one month ago. In relation to the better than stag, can these bourbons dethrone the king? Love this one. Here's an episode I'd like to see. I hate scotch. I love bourbon. Sweet versus peat. Is there a scotch I might like? Yeah, because there's not. It's a great content because the answer is no. Wow. Okay. So I tried. <laughs> I tried to fulfill your dreams. Okay. <laughs> I tried to find a scotch you might like. That wasn't so I guess the answer is no. I guess right. the answer is no. So sweet versus <laughs> Sweet, sweet wins. Sweet always wins. Right. I guess that was a little peaty. I'll give you that one. Oh, God. it was a right. little. It was are a we, little. Are we good? A little peaty. Aren't there some that are less peaty though? Okay. 
So Adam, I think, is the last one you have added. Right, yes. That's the last okay, one. cool. All right. So Adam also did uh, Facebook Messenger me. I can't do multiple things at once, but yes, you're added in. So, mm-hmm. okay, let's talk amongst uh, yourselves while I copy and paste Jack, this list. Jack's getting a pie. Jack's yeah. getting a pie. Which yeah. is a giant yeah. pie because I don't know if you've ever seen this man, but he is literally a giant human being. So it's going to have to be like a Costco pie. <laughs> Like, I do have a, I have a Costco. Yeah. We have a Costco membership. I think that Weens is going to pie him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, th- I think that's what's going to happen. I think they're going to like. So, yes, at 35000 Jack is getting a pie. I am painting my toenails pink. And that old Fitz is going in. Yes. Would you like to hint at what's going in next, John, while we're here, just with these people that are here? Oh, uh, hold on. I did at the wrong four- thing. Wait, what? Yeah. He did the wrong thing. What? I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I spun the wheel prematurely. It's fine. No. It's fine. Oh, no. No, I, I'm not counting it. It's fine. Premature spinulation. No one will ever know what it what it did except me. Uh, no one's going to know. How will they know? How will they know? No one's going to know. Okay, um, so you were... Somebody was saying something to me and I missed it entirely because I was. So old Fitz eight goes in because we hit 35 K in the big F and raffle. Yeah. What do you think about just for the people in this YouTube? If we tease the 40 K bottle, I think we should tease that. Would you like to do it right now? Yeah. I got to look up what it is. <laughs> I I have the bottle. I can just hold it in my hand. Ooh. But oh, can I just give like a hint? Yeah. You can do whatever you want. I'll give people a hint, and then when we get to 37.5, you can do the, the bottle. How about that? Fair. Hint it up. I just also have to look it up real quick. <laughs> do, 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. It'll be great. <clears throat> so at 35,000, again, I keep talking about these punishments. I am doing the pink sparkly toenails. At 40,000... Which one? Chris, what are you doing at 40,000? They're pretty bad. Oh, they're pretty. So everyone should know that we let people pick them and we never thought we were going to break 25. We would, I mean, I don't want to say we did it. We only plotted to 25. Like that's the number that we had picked the things for. So once we got past 25, I had to pick them for Chris and I know everything he really, really <laughs> hates. And I know every awful thing for him as a human. So like for 30, I picked a banana smoothie because I know how much he hates. <laughs> like, hates them and not just a banana smoothie a banana smoothie with a howler head float that's Amazing. punishment for anyone yeah absolutely howler head sucks so bad it's so bad and he's gonna have to drink it all right uh, so you is everybody ready for this for this hint you're ready the hint is it is a former stitzel weller product that is a decade aged he is so wild he is so smart. He knows so much. <laughs> he has a wealth of knowledge. I know some things. All right, but Google. for real, it is now almost 10-10. Let's get to this oh. wheel. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Okay, so we have the wheel live. You can see it on your screen. We have 300 and some entries. I forget exactly how many. Four. Uh, what should we give away first? Well, what was the what was the first bottle? Technically, the first bottle would be the Weller Twelve. Do you <gasps> want to start with that? Wow. Shocking. Okay. All right. So that is the only one that, when we were promoing this, we guaranteed to give away. I think we should. All right. The we wheel is spinning. Somebody is getting a Weller Twelve. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Look at this fancy. Spin. And it is Brian Blocklinger. Wow. Hell yeah! Let's go. Let's Congratulations, go. Congratulations, Brian. That's awesome. All right, so Brian gets a Weller 12. That's then awesome. I think the next one that I added was this. I actually don't know anymore. But this <laughs> barrel. <laughs> it was like an hour and a half ago, all right? This barrel bourbon 
That is a single barrel from Liquor World. It is eight years, nine months age, and it's 111.68 proof. Spin the wheel. Do it. Oh, we're so close. All right, Zach Martin. Zach Martin, all right. Let's Congratulations. That's Zach. Okay. And Faith. Oh, oh Brian, that'll be Brian said first that's his first Weller. And that's a what? good Weller. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's a great awesome. Weller to be your first Weller, not going to lie. Hell yeah. Okay, does anybody remember if I did Woodford or Sam Houston first? My vote's Sam Houston. Let's see what the comments say. I think the Sam Houston came first, though. I think you could be correct. I think it was the Sam awesome. Houston because you'd be like tube. Anything in a tube is fancy. There's a lot That's of true. tube talk. Wait, tube yeah. talk? Yeah. Whoa. Tube talk. Whoa. It's really good that my wife is putting things in the comments so that I can look back later. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're just going to go with it. Sam Houston, it is... An American whiskey it comes in a tube. And let's spin the wheel. Wait, Zach Martin said, isn't that the bottle I donated? I don't think so. Is it? I don't think so. Which one? The barrel? All right. Cohen Pfeiffer gets the Sam Houston. Oh. Cohen. All right. Two for two on people I can deliver it to by hand. Let's go. All right, then next is the Woodford Double Oaked. That's it a good bottle. It is a 2XO product. 2XO. So it's not 2XO. <laughs> Spinning the wheel, let's go. John, John's biting his tongue. I right know. <laughs> let's go. Bethany Glick. Ooh, Bethany, yay! So Congratulations. As a side note, Bethany Glick is the person who donated our 40K bottle. Really? She sure is. That uh, that former Stitzel Weller product. That's the one. Oh. She, nice. she is the owner. All right. Well, we have a Larceny Barrel Proof, which was next. Batch C922, 126.6 proof. Spinning the wheel. <clears throat> The wheel. Oh, weird. Okay, so Zach thinks he donated that Woodford. Kathy Hicks. Oh, oh awesome. I love that lady. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah. I mean, he might have. I, I don't know why it's, once again, not on the list. I really thought Dave donated that, but could be wrong. Kathy Hicks with the, was that, Larceny? Yes. yes. Nice. Which one is it? All right. The C9. Uh, C922. Oh, C922. Great. Love that. And in addition, we have a Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Mm. E522, which oh. was our final stretch goal before I added the C923. So, remove Kathy. Let's go. Let's go. And it only removes once. So, if you bought multiple tickets, you are still in the running, even if you won. Crazy All right, thing. Steve. I I have no idea how to pronounce your last name, and I'm very sorry. So, congratulations. Is it start with an M? Yeah, it's. I, I've seen him in PA Bourbon Squad, and I know he's a solid dude. I know. You, you have it there. Mark, I, I Marcuccio. Do. Steve also donated a bunch of bottles. Oh. Steve so. Marcuccio. That's how I was going to say Steve Marcuccio. Well, I'm pretty sure I butchered that because I also pronounced it that way, so... Uh, and then finally, from my personal bunker, this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, C923. Mm. Are you ready? C923. Let's fucking go. I'm so excited for this one. Come on, let's go. John Gooch, no. Could you Brian imagine? Blocklinger. Wow. Holy crap, he's so lucky. He has won yep. twice. That's he awesome. He won like four times last year. Yeah. He's a pretty lucky guy. Look, he has donated a bunch I mean, of money and we're, we're so happy. If you don't believe in karma, this right here is like this proof of it. Okay. It's true. That's it's all. True. The bottles and the money. and That's just, all I'm saying. You, know. you don't believe in karma. We're all seeing it. Absolutely. 
Okay. Can I say one more thing before we... Uh, oh, please do. Goodbye? Yep, okay. absolutely. All right, here's my one more thing before we say our goodbyes. Okay. In Venmo. You didn't Venmo me Matt's money yet. Which So okay. it's in Zell. So I have to add it. Okay. That's our check money. Okay, that's our Venmo. That's our check. That's our Zell. That's our PayPal. That's our cash. That's our match. Grand total in big F and raffle. $35,230. Let's go. Let's fucking yeah. go. Let's wow. fucking go. Wow. We are I only, see. what? $770 away from my next punishment. Amazing. Which is body waxing, just so you know. If you've ever seen the 40-year-old virgin, it's going to be kind of like that. So if you want to see that and you think it's funny, get us to 40. I really, I really honestly think that we need to live stream that. I have no issues with that. <laughs> and, at, and at 45, I'm wearing a dress in public. It's true. So. Oh, look, that's awesome. So, you know, people want to see it. Oh, look, Brandon popping in late. Cheers. What's up, Brandon? What's going on? <laughs> like Sutton Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> oh, Kelly Clarkson. I'm going to be saying some... Hey, but you know what? You don't get to see it unless you get us to 40000 It's true. Just... Let's fucking go. And then oh, you get look, to see... Matt says oh. fudge, yeah. And then you get to see that bottle that what, John? What's the hint? Uh, it is a former Stitzel Weller product that is aged 10 years. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. Um, uh, Commodore Thunder just got back to see this. Congratulations, everybody! The cat's meow was awesome. The golf. Oh, I love so... the that's, that's awesome. 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 That sparks so much joy for me. Yeah, I think. We uh, need to one... make... I, I think we need to thank some people at the end of this. One of them Here. being Tyler. So many. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, Tyler, Tyler for thanks. donating money. Um, thank you yeah. too for being a part of this. We love it. Always glad to see you guys. It's a, yeah, it's a fun awful. time. <laughs> and thank you to anyone who donated. Um, we, we raised $2,600, $2,620 tonight, which is, I think, beyond my wildest imagination. I very confidently said that I thought that we could get to 2000 with <laughs> no basis on that whatsoever earlier. <laughs> so I, you know... Chris asked me if I really thought that we could bring in 2000. I said confidently yes with, you know, uh, overconfident at times, but you guys have really stepped up and absolutely blown away what I thought was possible tonight. So thank you to all who donated. Congratulations to those who won bottles. Yes. Any final thoughts before we get up on out of here? I would like to also say this, John, thank you so much for hosting. Thank you for us letting us use your platform. It's been phenomenal. And to all the G&W subscribers who didn't know us and didn't know anything about yeah. Alpha Bravo and showed up and showed out. And also to, you know, obviously the squad is kind of like, that's my hometown. That's my yep. people. But uh, all the guys in the squad and all the ladies in the squad and everybody in the 717 who has really just, I mean, as much as I tease about us being 10 times bigger and John likes to get <laughs> they did really show up for us yep. and you know, like it means a lot. So I just want to say thank you to all of them. And John, thank you so much. Like I can't, I cannot possibly be grateful enough for you saying like, Oh, you got team Pittsburgh and you got team Philly F that. I want to be team <laughs> ladies master. If you weren't so cocky, we wouldn't be here right now. So thank you for your cockiness and thank you to faith for dealing with your cockiness. <laughs> Bless <Absolutely>. her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you all for being a part of this. Um, I, I humbly ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you in the future. We are out.